Welcome, welcome. My name is Tilo. I am a web developer and in the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to create your own website using Webflow. We are going to create this website in a step-by-step -step manner. I'm going to show you how to create each part of it. And through that, you really learn how to use Webflow. We are going to integrate pictures, third party code like this widget. We are going to make use of Webflow's CMS feature and all its different styling features. We are going to include form elements as well as making use of Webflow's grid system. Here is a form and also another form which we are going to hook up with MailChimp allowing you to co collect your users or visitors email addresses and send them automated emails. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to publish your website to the internet, how to set up your own custom domain and where to buy it. This, the videos are structured in a step-by-step -step manner and for you to go along or just watch and then try out by yourself. I try to make use of as many features of Webflow as possible so that when you design your own, your own website, you can really recreate it according to your needs and understand what all the different features do. Now you might be wondering what is Webflow? Webflow is a super po powerful tool meant for people who cannot code and allows you to create your website using drag and drop just your mouse without the need to code at all. It is extremely scalable, super powerful and used by some of the biggest companies out there. There are a lot of competitors to Webflow, including you might have heard of WordPress, Squarespace or Wix. However, I found Webflow to be the most powerful tool, especially when it comes to designing your website, customizing your website and also in terms of speed of your website. And that's why I personally highly recommend Webflow and I'm a big fan of Webflow. I use it almost every day when I design websites myself. All right, then are you ready to get started? So the first thing we need to do is create an account with Webflow. So let's get going with that. And then Webflow is going to ask you a few questions uh, that is supposed to make it easier for you to set up the account. Um, we can sort of ignore that more or less. Let's just get through it. And Let's then choose a blank site. So we want to get started with a blank site. Webflow also has a few pot, uh, few templates on offer. However, for our purpose, let's get started with a blank site. So I'm going to select blank site. And that's going to create my first blank site for me. And from here we can start designing everything. So let's get rid of that and here we go we are in the webflow canvas the designer now this is the designer in this designer all the magic will happen and before we start actually designing our web page let's take a step back and quickly talk about what a web page does what it consists out of and then we can get started with designing and with that new knowledge mind can take a look at this Webflow designer itself. So in the next video, let's quickly talk about what websites are made out of. 